Thank you very much. I'd like to, that song was written for my brother Mike, but I want to dedicate it to all of us. Now I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to tell you a little story, if you don't mind. Um, it's been a rough day for you today, and um, please bear with me. I only speak English. Um, in the summer of 1971, I was only 13 years old, and I'd never been to a rock concert before. And my brothers, Mike Picaro and Jeff Picaro, yeah. along with David Page, and uh, my friend Andy Leeds and his brother Steve took me to my first concert at the Hollywood Bowl. And we went to see Edgar Winter's White Trash. We loved R&B music and we went to see Edgar. And he was opening for two bands that I never heard of. One was called Humble Pie and the other band was called Emerson, Lake and Palmer. And, uh, Edgar Winter's White Trash was amazing that night. We loved it. They killed it that night. They were amazing. And um, the next band, Humble Pie, played, and the crowd freaked out. They loved it. They were standing on their chairs applauding. And I remember thinking, how is this next band going to follow them? How can they follow such a huge response from the crowd? And, um, and then, while they were setting up Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's equipment, I saw the keyboard technician working on his setting up Keith's uh, keyboards, and um, all of a sudden, I heard this very low sound, just and it slid up to the top, and it was loud, and it sounded amazing, and it gave me the chills. And I remember I said out loud, what the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, it freaked me out. And um, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer came out and they were amazing. They blew my mind. And at the, towards the end of the show, Keith Emerson said, we're gonna do a song we've never done before. We just recorded it. And it's the story of an armadillo tank called Tarkus. And right then, my life changed. I left that concert knowing exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to be like Keith Emerson. Um, I could hardly play at all in those days, but I just left knowing what I wanted to do. I couldn't stop thinking about the synthesizer and the sounds he made and his performance. And. Uh, you flash to high school, and uh, I'm in my band with Steve Lukather, and while I could not play like Keith Emerson, I thought maybe if I had a lot of keyboards, like he did, that uh, I could try to be like him. And my bandmates, Steve Lukather, Mike Landau, Carlos Vega, John Pierce, they wound up being the ones that had to help me carry my Hammond organ, and all my keyboards and my borrowed synthesizers to all of our gigs. And they hated me for it, but I was starting to learn how to play synthesizers. Um, when David Page and my brother Jeff Picaro were putting Toto together, uh, I don't think they really needed another keyboard player, but they had seen that I'd been learning, while I couldn't play like Keith Emerson, I was learning synthesizers and they let me in their band. Um, I think they thought I would come in handy. Um, so tonight, I want to thank my brothers, Mike Picaro, Jeff Picaro. I want to thank David Page, my friend Andy Leeds, his brother Steve. And uh, I want to thank them for taking me to see Keith Emerson, my hero, uh, who we lost last night. You know, there, there's a lot I do not know, but I know if it was not for them taking me to that show, and if it was not for me seeing Keith Emerson and being inspired by him, that I would not be standing here tonight in Osaka, playing for you, doing what I love. I know that 
and I want to dedicate, I want to dedicate this entire Japanese tour to my brothers Mike and Jeff and Keith Emerson. And um, they took me to the Hollywood Bowl in 1971. And um, I still can't play like Keith Emerson, but I'm never going to stop trying. Thank you very much. Yeah.